الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى وعلى آله وأصحابه أول السلط والصفاء أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته وقال في مكان آخر يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله بقولوا قولا سديدا صدق الله مولانا العلي العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم الأمين ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين وشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في شان حبيبه مخبرا وآمرا قولا كريما إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا بأصحاب سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم وصل عليه صلاة وسلاما عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا رحمة للعالمين All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the master, cherisher, and sustainer of the world. Choices, peace, blessings, and salutations be upon the noblest of creation, pride of mankind. Intercessor for the sinner, Hazrat Sayyidina Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was sent into this universe as a rahmatan lil alameen, as a mercy for the entire creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Respected elders and dear brothers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Once again we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who have given us this opportunity to witness once again these auspicious moments of your Mul Jum'ah, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah, our salah, and our presence here today. Ameen, thumma ameen, ya Rabbal Alameen. Respected brothers, the words I have recited to you It is related to our discussion. We were busy discussing about taqwa and piety from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we learn in the light of the Holy Quran, in the light of hadith of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And inshallah, Today we will learn something new about taqwa and piety from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in his divine, in his glorious book, <coughs> Ya ayyuhu al-ladheena amanu attaqu Allah haqqa tuqatih. Ila akhir al-ayah. Or you who believe, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you should fear from him. Respected brothers, taqwa is not that we should put on nice clothes and people when they look at us, they should say that this man has taqwa, he's a pious person, he's having piety from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was explaining this, he said, At-taqwa ha-huna. He pointed towards the heart. He said, At-taqwa ha-huna. At-taqwa ha-huna. At-taqwa ha-huna. Three times. Taqwa and piety is in the heart. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna Allah la yanzuru ila ajsamikum. Wala ila suwarikum. Walakin yanzuru ila khulubikum wa amalikum. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not look at your appearance, at your cloth. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look at your actions and your heart. What is in your heart? Respect your brothers. 
There are so many verses of the Holy Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that we should have taqwa and piety from him. Respected brothers, Sayyidina Zakariya ala nabiyyina wa salam was a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wallah, grant me a pious son, the son who should please you, who should have fear from you always. Respected brothers, <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted Sayyidina Zakariya ala nabiyyina wa salam a son, his name is Yahya. Respected brothers, he used to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much. He used to cry in the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Sayyidina Zakariya ala nabiyyina wa salam and Abu, he used to stand in front of the people and deliver his speech or his lecture. And whenever he used to speak about Jahannam, so Yahya alayhi salam used to cry and used to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. And he used to have taqwa from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now Zakariya ala nabiyyina wa salam decided that if Yahya is in the mafid or he is in the gathering, he is not going to speak about Jahannam. One day, he came, there were a lot of people sitting. So Sayyidina Zakariya ala nabiyyina wa salam looked at the audience and he found that Yahya is not present in the audience. In fact, Yahya ala nabiyyina wa salam was hiding himself behind the tree and listening to the lecture of his father. When he started his lecture, he spoke about fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he reached and he started speaking about Jahannam. And he had this Sayyidina Yahya alayhi salam screamed out and he started crying and he ran towards jungle. Respected brothers, after finishing the lecture, Sayyidina Zakariya came to his house. And he asked from his wife, if Yahya came to the house, she replied that in the morning he left till now, I, didn't, I did not see him again. Respected brothers, they were looking for Yahya ala nabiyina wa salam, they could not find him. Next day also they could not find, for three days, they were searching for Sayyidina Yahya ala nabiyina wa salam. But they did not find Sayyidina Yahya ala nabiyina wa salam. Finally, Sayyidina Zakariya alayhi salam and his wife, they went to the jungle and they found one person. They asked this man, they found a shepherd, he was grazing his sheep and God. Zakariya ala nabiyina wa salam went to close, close to that person and he asked him, did you see my son? His name is Yahya. This man replied, I did not see your son here. But from since from three days, somebody is inside the cave and is he crying and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And because of that person who is inside the cave, my gods, they left grazing and they went. When I started hitting them, to, they, must be, they must move from the cave. But they ran toward the cave. For three days continuously, they did not eat anything. And this man who is inside the cave, he is crying so much that even other animals, they stood next to the cave. And they look at that person. Respected brothers, when Sayyidina Zakariya ala nabiyina was salam entered the cave, 
And when he entered, he said, Yahya, stand up. I came to take you back. Hazrat Yahya, Allah Nabi Kina was salam said, If you are Manakul Maut, please give me chance. At least I must go and visit my parents. They must be worried about me. <coughs> Sayyidina Zakariya ala nabiyina was salam went close to Sayyidina Yahya ala nabiyina was salam and he told him that oh my son I am Zakariya your father I came to fetch you your mother is worried about you respected brothers Sayyidina Yahya ala nabiyina was salam stood up and they started walking towards the house when they reached the house the mother was really worried about her son. And she looked at the situation and the condition of her son. It was in fact very, very bad. He was crying and crying and crying. She told her son that he must have something and thereafter he must go and rest. Sayyidina Zakariya ala nabiyya wa salam gave food to Zahiya alayhi salam. He had his food. And he went inside the room and he slept. When he slept, the voice came from unseen and it says that, Oh Yahya, this much taqwa and love do you have for us? <coughs> that when you met your parents, you forgot you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your Lord, the one who created you. Respected brothers, same time he left his bed. He started crying and he went towards jungle. Respectful brothers, this was taqwa and piety of our forefathers in Islam. We should learn a lesson from these kind of narration. It is my favor and dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us strength, ability and power to have taqwa and piety to only fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين